Hey everybody, this is Paige from Mosaic Moments, and today I am showing a demo of the On The Dot Bow Die. As you can see, there's a curve here that looks kind of like a rainbow. That's where the name comes from. So basically, this die would be used in the place of one of these other 2x4 On The Dot dies. So instead of using one of those, you could use this one for a different look. Today I'm going to be also using the 1x4 On The Dot die and the circle die that comes in the 4x4 On The Dot set. Alright, now that you have been introduced to the die, let's go ahead and get started. To use this die, you will of course need a die machine. I am using the Sizzix Big Shot. It's one of my favorite machines. And just now I have a piece of cardstock that's a little bit bigger than the die itself, so I make sure I get a good cut. The die is placed in at an angle because we find that it cuts better at an angle or the pressure of the machine tends to be distributed better rather than if I put it straight through. Anyway, so I want to save this frame piece right here. So this is the two by four on the dot die and I'm gonna be cutting this three more times. So there should be four cuts altogether for my layout. And for my layout, I am also using the one by four on the dot die as I mentioned earlier. I'm also pretty much gonna do the, take the same steps as before. I have a piece of paper here that's a little bit bigger than the die. I have a magnetic plate at the bottom and sometimes the die will shift and it won't be above my paper anymore. If you have a magnetic plate, I recommend either trying to place the die so it won't do that or you can use washi tape if it's being really stubborn, which I have had to do sometimes. If your die cut is stuck, you can use a pair of craft tweezers and poke it through one of the little holes in the corner here and carefully take out your die cut and that is the piece we need for our layout. So remember to save that frame piece. It is very important and I'll also be cutting with this die four times. All right, I have my layout here and earlier I cut these with die set A and the layering die set A. And for my layout, I wanted to give my paper tiles a little more of a rustic, earthy feel. So I decided to put some chalk ink on every piece. I already have it around my square mats behind my photos. And I am putting it on the on the dots die. Now, this is, of course, optional. I love chalk ink. I put it on a lot of my stuff. It really gives a nice distressed look. And it may add a little pop of color. So it's just fun for me. It is, it does take a little time if you're using it on a adventure level die because you have to carefully get it on the edges of these thin little lines. So just keep that in mind if you're using chalk ink to take your time on that. Next, I'm going to glue down the back of my on the dot bow die. And I'm really carefully putting the glue on. My roll has a lot of glue in it. Once you know if once it gets to the end it stops rolling really smoothly. So it's it's good to maybe work on the level or the adventure level dies when your glue dispenser is pretty full and when it gets to the end maybe use it for your basic dies instead because it gets really stubborn at the end of the roll. But basically I put the glue in the corners and on the sides. And there's other ways you can glue them down as well. But for this video, I'm using, I use the Hermodato dispenser. And I'm placing them on the grid in this way. It's basically going to be rotating around my layout. And I recommend taking your time. Make sure those top and left lines are completely covered. And if it gets a little warped, sometimes when you place the inside parts, the die will straighten out. Now I'm going to place on my 1x4 on the dot dies. So this comes, this particular die comes in the set with one of the 2x4 on the dot dies as well. I just put these through the Xyron Creative Sticker Machine, which is really handy. So you can use it through that machine. But I do recommend if you do use something like the Xyron Machine, make sure you have the die going straight and not crooked because it could accidentally 
bend your die or warp your dies a little bit, um, especially this one because it's pretty thin. And again, just take your time and carefully place these on the grid lines. Again, if they look a little warped, they usually straighten out when you start placing in the inside pieces. Or if needed, you can use a base piece to help them be a little more sturdy. All right, now I'm going to show you how I cut my photos. So basically, this is I have some photos to mainly place in kind of the ring, half ring area. I'm not sure what to call it, but I have some photos of some Spanish moss, which was at the area I hiked around. At um, these photos were taken at First Landing State Park in the Virginia Beach area. And I love the Spanish moss, and I wanted to feature that on my layout, so I decided to use those particular photos to decorate part of my on-the-dot dies. And as you can see here, on a 4x6 photo, both the 2x4 and 1x4 dies fit, which is really nice. So I can cut them both at the same time, and also I use washi tape to make sure they don't shift and that they will stay aligned with each other. So it is really nice that they both can fit on the photo. And what I do is I just take the die off. And as you can see, I'm not pulling apart the photo yet. And it may not seem like it cut all the way through, but it did. So I'm just taking the metal dies off. And then I'm going to keep the photo together because it's much, much easier to glue your photo when everything's still stuck together. And as you can see, it cut all the way through. So I will show you how I glued that down later on in the video. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I cut the rest of my photos. You want to make sure that the die is going the direction you want it to be placed on the layout. So now I have the dies are still going the vertical direction, but it's, I guess, a reflection or a mirror of what I did before. So you definitely want to plan out your photos before you start cutting and make sure they're going to uh, well, I'll decide, first of all, which direction you want your photos to be cut. So this one here, my dog's kind of poking out at the bottom here, but I really just want the top part. And the dies fit on the best way, so the curve is at the top of the photo here. So you want to plan and make sure that the photos you choose are going to fit the way you want to on your layout, and that when you place the dies on your photos, that they're going the direction you want them to cut and place them on the layout. This time I didn't use washi tape because I do have a magnetic plate and I feel like it's stuck down pretty well. And I don't need that little corner piece, so that's okay that it's gone, but everything else is still attached at least. There's also these little corners, which if I wanted to, I could have just also used the photos in those corners, but I really wanted a little more color on my layout. My layout has a distressed pink grid paper. It's called Weathered Pink. It's from the Dockside Collection. And most of the photos are very green. There's a lot of trees. So I felt like it's just a kind of pink and green layout. The cardstock color I chose is also green. I really wanted a little pop of color, something a little warm. So I found this patterned paper. And I think that'll be a nice touch to lay out to give it a little more color. All right, so the last cuts I need to make are with the circle die, and I'm going to feature my dog in these photos. So these, I love these little circle dies. It's the best part of the on-the-dot dies, and you don't have to use them, but I absolutely love them. It's a fun way to highlight certain subjects. In this case, I'm using my dog as the main subject in the circles, but I've also done it where I feature, like, my favorite flowers from a garden, or if you went to the zoo, you could feature your favorite animals. You know, it, you can put all kinds of things in these circles, and I really love them. We do have a video about the on the dots dies if you want to take a look at that, and this is your first time being introduced to them. So click in the top right hand corner if you want to see our previous video about the on the dots dies. All right, I have my last circle cut right here. All right, I want to take a quick break here and show you a couple of other ideas you can do with the on the dot bow die. So this page was created by designer Jody, and she used the four by four on the dot die in the middle and put the on the dot bow around it. And it makes a really neat design 
and she did a really great job. She took pictures of lily pads at her pond and put it in the curved areas and highlighted some things in her pond in the circles. And I think this design is so, so good. And this design is a very simple design from Tammy Potter. And she actually just put the two by four on the dot bow die next to each other. And it kind of creates a circle, a little circle inside the horizon die set, or you could just use the two by four die on its own. So this is another fun little idea you can do with the on the dot bow die. All right, now I'm going to fill in my on the dot dies. So right now I'm just gluing down these little corner pieces. When you glue them down, make sure you get those very, very tips of the triangle corners, I guess you can call them. Just get the tips really, really good. Get them very well glued down because sometimes those little corners will start poking up. I mean, it's probably going to be flattened out in your album anyway, but personally it bugs me. So <laughs> I recommend getting them really glued down. That is a lot of our adventure level dies have very sharp corners like that. So that is something to keep in mind with any of them or most of them. All right, now I'm going to start filling in with my photos. So as you can see here, I did not pull them apart yet because Again, it's so much easier to glue them down. And with the little one by four die, you can see there's that little corner or the little pointed piece. And it's really important to glue those down really well because again, they will also poke up anything with the sharp edge. Uh, any of the mosaic moments dies with sharp little corners or edges like that really need to be glued down really well. And I really love the look with the on the dots die or the on the dot bow die. I mean, look at this design. And that's what's so great about this die is it works with the on the dot die. So if you love the on the dot die already, you'll especially love this one because it gives you a little bit of a different look. And you still can use those circle dies to highlight some of your favorite photos. So it's a great die. Absolutely love this look. I think I might be more excited about this one than the original, but I don't know. They're both great. All right, I'm just checking here. I can't, I could not remember which side I wanted this to go on. So maybe it'd be good if your photos look similar to mark down which section you want it to go. Or uh, for the video, I usually cut them all and then place on layout. Maybe it'd be better for you to actually cut it and then immediately put it on the layout. That'll probably work better for you. All right, I have most of my sections done and I'm putting on or gluing down the last section. Again, so much easier to keep the photos stuck together. Unfortunately, this trick does not tend to work with paper. Paper tends to just fall apart after you cut into it, but photos for some reason stick together after you cut them usually. It's kind of cool. Now that I look at it, the outer sections kind of look like a mosaic from the middle. <laughs> I don't know if you can look at that. There's a picture of me in the middle and I'm standing in front of the Spanish moss and then it kind of appears with the on the dot dies like it's all around me. So I didn't think about that. That was really, that's a really cool effect. So when you look at the whole page again, I hope you notice that. It's really important to get those detail shots whenever you go out and take photos so you can make awesome pages like this one. And now I'm placing on my little circle pieces, which are so cute. Again, this is my dog and she loves going on hikes with me. So, and she's, she's always happy. <laughs> I can't say she always cooperates, but she's a very happy subject to take photos of. And I love highlighting her and on these adventure level die pages. And it's really important to use repositionable glue because you never know when you want to place something in a different spot and you can change your mind and realize that's not where you want to put it. So repositionable, repositionable glue is very important for this system. All right, this is the completed layout and I absolutely love it. All right, as you look at this layout, again, I'm going to mention how in the background there's the trees and then 
The on the dot dies have trees also and it wraps all around that middle and it kind of looks like I'm surrounded by all of these trees. So really cool effect and then it gets broken up with my circle photos of my dog and highlights are even more because it all looks similar in there. But anyway, it, it turned out cooler than I even envisioned it to be and that is the best pages of all <laughs> is when you get that. Anyway, we have reached the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you love the On The Dot style, you definitely need On The Dot bow in your collection because you are going to absolutely love it. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.